Hi, Rams fans. We're here in Arlington, Virginia at CAA Basketball Media Day talking to the conference's coaches about the upcoming season in this edition of the Weekly Rewind. Welcome to another presentation of Rams Review, the best Rams sports show, period. It's time for the Weekly Rewind. Here is Tommy Lopez. Courtney had a great year for us last year, um, and Andrea Barber did as well, especially coming on strong at the end of the season. Coach Cunningham spoke about her team, led by CAA first team members Courtney Hurt and Andrea Barber. The Rams are picked to finish second in the CAA this year. But I think for our team to really go where we want to go, I think that we've got to have some other kids uh, to step up, and I think they're ready to. The men's soccer team sat at 2-2 two two in the CAA after a win over Hofstra last weekend. The team had two tough home tests this week. A rainy Wednesday night at Sports Backers as JMU came in at the top of the CAA standings with a perfect 4-0 conference mark. No score second half, VCU's Jason Johnson leaves it for Nate Schiffman. It's deflected, but the Rams take a 1-0 lead. And after a little Congo line, VCU goes back to work. 78th minute, the boost is shot off the crossbar, but Johnson is there for the header. It's 2-0 Rams. JJ showing some acrobatics as VCU is in the driver's seat. Just three minutes later, JMU does get one across. Patrick Eines cuts the lead to one, but that's how it would end. Rams take the match two to one. You know, it's probably the maybe the best year for the league the league's ever had. That's, you know, anytime you can you can get a result within the league, it certainly is is a good thing. And JMU is one of those teams. It's a really good win for us. So we just got to keep it going. We got a big big game against William Mary on Saturday, and just hopefully we can keep the momentum going. 900 fans out Saturday for the William & Mary match. Peppas and the Rowdy Rams there as well. 18th minute corner kick from the try. Ben Anderson heads it in and the college goes up by one. Rams would create plenty of chances the rest of the way. Yoram Wheeler breaking free 10 minutes later with no luck. Second half, Schiffman. This shot hits the post as the Rams just getting so close in this one. Minutes later, Nick Rich post again as the Rams fall 1-0 their first home loss of the season. You know, honestly, I thought tonight was a, was a little bit of a microcosm of, of the season to this point. Um, I thought we came out in the first 45 minutes and, and were unbelievably casual. And I'm not sure that we always understand how to handle and get prepared for different games. You know, things have been going well. You get a couple of results. Um, and unfortunately, then our tendency has been to be a little casual. Intramural flag football season is winding down. Let's take a look at the top plays from the playoffs. At number three, Pike Sigap, a fight for third place in the Greek A League. Sigap chasing Pike QB Kyle Pelchi, disrupting the pass. More from that game at number two. Sigap's Taylor Britt passing. Look at the catch behind his head as he brings it in, but Pike wins 24 7. At number one, Delta Chi, Theta Chi. It's the Greek championship. Ball up for Theta Chi. Great catch falling to the ground. Theta Chi wins it all 26 to 20. We've done it for four years in a row now. It feels awesome adding another championship to the belt, you know. To me, as long as we win as a team, everyone is happy. Just very relieved we won. We proved everyone that we can win, come from behind. After a strenuous non-conference schedule, the volleyball team is settling in in CAA play. The team is still near the bottom of the conference standings after defeating two opponents on the road last week. They return home to the Siegel Center, looking to extend their three-game winning streak. The Rams down Towson 3-1 Friday, hosting second place Delaware Saturday night. VCU down a set in Game 2. Kristen Boyd one of her career-high 22 kills on the night. Delaware, though, looking for set point, and the Rams fall behind 2-0. VCU coming back. Annette Farkas, one of her nine kills. Rams win set three, but they lose the match three to one, snapping their four match win streak. Coming up this weekend in Rams sports, men's soccer is at Drexel Saturday. The women's soccer team hosts ODU Friday and William & Mary on Sunday. The volleyball team hosts a pair of matches as well this weekend and field hockey is on the road. The next home club football game is scheduled for next Saturday. Thanks for watching this edition of the Weekly Rewind in Arlington. I'm Tommy Lopez for RamsReview.com.